How are you? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be telling you guys how I colored and dyed my natural hair. Um, yeah, it's not that drastic because I'm somebody who has a little bit of fear when it comes to doing stuff like this. Like back when I lived in the States, my hairstylist, she tried to convince me to get highlights back when I was re uh, relaxed and I was just too afraid to do it. So I ended up telling her, okay, well we can do brown. My hair is black, so you couldn't really see it unless you were in the sunlight. But that's the most that I've ever done when it comes to doing something drastic to my hair aside from this. And as you can see, I did just the tips in the color. Um, looking back on it now, I probably would have gone further and did more of my hair but this was just a trial run. Didn't know what to expect, but I will possibly be doing it again, but just doing more of my hair. Um, I thought I had saved the box to show you guys. I know I took a clip of it. It was the Cream of Nature Light Golden Blonde Hair Dye. And basically, I followed the instructions as you do. Um, I just mixed all the ingredients together. They had a booster pack in there, which is what you add first shake it up and then you add the actual dye color and when I added the dye color it kind of shocked me because it turned it purple so I was like wait a minute whoa back up what's happening but then after like a few seconds it turned to the brown color now the reason I decided to go ahead and dye the tips of my hair is because my hair was straightened already and I figured it would be easier to dye my straightened hair rather than trying to dye my curly natural hair um, so you will see that in the beginning I literally dyed like that much of my hair because I wasn't sure if this was really something that I wanted to do. But then I go back in and I dye a little bit more of my hair and it was actually a little bit tricky because when your hair is rela I mean when your hair is straightened it's obviously going to be longer. So when it curled up I wasn't sure how far up the curl pattern it was going to go which is why it is literally just the tips of my hair which I'm cool with it doesn't bother me it adds a little uh, depth to my hair but yeah I added that and when you do this you want to be in a well ventilated room because the cream of nature smell was very strong but it wasn't like overly like it wasn't overbearing um, and the reason I chose the cream of nature one is because I saw you okay <laughs> Let me explain to you how I got to the process of why I dyed my hair. Do you ever be on YouTube, right? And then you see a suggested video to the right. Sometimes the suggested video has nothing to do with the video that you're actually watching, but you click on it anyway. So that's what I did. I clicked on a suggested video where somebody dyed their natural hair with this Cream of Nature product. And I was like, oh, that is so cute. Maybe I should try that. So then I started looking at other YouTube videos and I just kept going down the YouTube black hole where you just keep watching video after video after video. And some of the videos scared me because some people use like a golden blonde and they ended up with orange hair. Don't know how that happened, but it didn't it didn't steer me away from how good the first video was that I saw of the girl that dyed her hair. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna dye my hair because you know what? Her hair looks good and I think that my hair will come out good too. So that's how I ended up coming to the conclusion of dyeing my hair. Here though, in my city, in the UK, they don't sell the cream of nature dye. So I actually had to order it off of Amazon. It was only like five pounds or something like that. Nothing drastic. So after I put the dye on my hair, it was time to let it process. Um, I started out with putting um, shower caps on the sides to keep the process to speed it up or something. I don't know. I saw people on YouTube do it. So I put shower caps on my hair 
and literally I was checking like every five minutes <laughs> to see what was going on. Nothing really started happening until like the last maybe five to 10 minutes. You're supposed to let it process for no longer than 30 minutes on your hair, that's what they say. And the 30 minutes had, you know, came or whatever, and I'm like, I don't really see a difference. Like, maybe I should leave it on a little bit longer. I let it sit literally for like an extra five minutes, and then that's when I started to see the brown color. So after I saw the brown color, I was like, okay, cool. Now I can wash my hair out. After I washed it out, I just, I used my own leave-in, not leave-in, my own deep conditioner um, with coconut oil that I added to it. And then they did provide in the pack Oregon oil and their own conditioner, but I didn't end up using that. Although I did save the Oregon oil for later in case I want to use that. And then after that, I just styled my hair as normal, which is just my usual wash and go. I have a video on that if you are interested in watching that. But yeah, I just styled my hair as normal and this is the results. I would say I'm pretty happy with it. It's just a little detail here and there. It's nothing overly, overly done. Will I do this again? Yes. Um, will I do more of my hair? Yes, because I think it's cute. You guys let me know what you think, but I think it turned out pretty cute. I'm not mad at it at all. I will say that it didn't damage my hair. My hair doesn't feel dry. It feels like the same that it always does. Um, none of my curls were like, straight after using it but then again i didn't put it on that much of my hair but it turned out fine to me so yeah that's pretty much it i just wanted to give you guys an update of what i've done with my hair it's nothing too drastic but i think it turned out good so i'm happy with it <laughs> okay thank you guys so much for watching make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys in another video bye